Welcome to the Twine Beginners Series by Digital Exposure TV. The codes in this video are compatible with the story format of Harlow 2.0.1. In this video I'm going to show you two different ways to add backgrounds into your Twine story. So the first way is to show you how you can add backgrounds so that there's one background for the entire project. So every page will have the same image in the background. And the second way I'll show you where you can pick and choose which page has which background. So let's get started with the first version. So if we go into edit story style sheet and we put this code in, which is TW story. So your twine story complete. Then you've got your background image URL and then you enter your own URL in between the quotation marks there and then background size and we fit to cover. So the cover basically means that when you move your window up and down, make it bigger, smaller, it will fit into the window that you give it, which is especially helpful if you're going to play your game on a computer and on a mobile phone or something. So. All we need to do is find a link and again like with the Mario picture you just look on Google Images or you can go on a website or specifically the best way to do it is host your own website and um, have your own images on that website so that you know say if we used one of these pictures here um, you know someone could delete this picture off the internet and then when you start up your story your picture will vanish well, if you host your own website and have your own pictures on there, it will stay there for as long as you want it to, basically. And I'll be showing you how to quickly, within like five minutes, start your own website and add your own content to it that you can draw from for your Twine story in a later video when we do the, um, the sound ones, like uh, music and sound effects. So, back to this. So if you pick a picture, um, I've picked this one here and you go to view image. Always make sure no matter where you're getting the picture from on the internet, you get the source image. So basically in your window, the image will open up and you'll be able to zoom in on it like that. And that is the URL that you want to use. You don't want to go to a page where there's other things on the page and your image somewhere in the middle. If you use that URL, it just won't work. It needs to have the, um, you know when it's correct because you'll have the website and the connections and at the very end it'll say the file type like .jpg or .png or something like that. So we're going to take that code and we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it into there and I've already done it. And so now when we play our story in all the backgrounds on all the pages, there's page one, page two, page three, page four the background will be consistent in all of those pages. Now, here's the interesting bit. If you want, say we've got four pages here. If you want to add, say, a background of snow in this page and a background of summer in this page, this is how you do it. It's quite simple. The first step really is to think of a tag. So we're gonna have summer and snow, right? So let's tag the first page with snow. And the way you do that is if you go to the top of the box here when you edit your box, there's a tag option with a plus. You click on that and whatever you call it, you have to make sure that you always spell it exactly the same. And if there's a capital letter, you have to make sure the capital letters in the same place and everything. So we're just going to type in snow for this one and then click add. Now that passage is now connected to the tag snow which means when we connect the image to the tag snow, anything that's got snow in the passage in the tags will appear with that image. So we'll go to page three and we'll add summer and we'll add that tag to page three. So now when we open up our story style sheet, we've got this and all we need to do is straight after TW story and don't remember, don't forget, the um, exact code will be in the link in the description, sorry, of this video. So you can just copy and paste it into your style sheet. So we add extra, we add um, square bracket tags, tilde equals inverted commas, and I've put snow. So snow is our tag for this one. And then we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it. And 
the, we'll put the tag summer this time for the other page where we want a summer image. But now we don't have the right link for the image yet. So I'm going to cut that old link out and we'll go over to the internet again and we'll find a summer image. Let's take that one. And again, you have to make sure you're on the source page, which is this one. We'll copy that. And I'm going to paste it in between the speech marks there. So now we've got two tags. We've got the code for one um, snowy image and the code to add a summer image. And we've tagged the snow one with snow and the summer one with summer. And then we have now tagged the first passage with snow and the third passage with summer. So if everything goes right, the first page should have a snowy background, which it does. And then when we get to, oh, I went too far. When we get to the third page, we now have the uh, summer background. And that's be just simply because we added summer to the tags. And then on this page, we added snow to the tags. And that's it. It's as simple as that. So remember the first time round, if you want your image to go on the background of everything, you just omit the tag, you take that away and then everything will be whatever image you've linked to it there. And then if you want to add tags, let me just pop that tag back. You can do this as many times as you want. You could have 12 pages with 12 different backgrounds. It's up to you. So there you go. Hopefully that has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Please share this video on Facebook, Twitter and social media. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this helpful and please subscribe for more videos.